Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're probably going to make some more tags today. Um, I'm probably going to make another shorter video. It won't be an hour long. Um, but I did want to share with you, I had found uh, through Miss Gale, I had found another uh, lady who makes those cute little uh, flowers. It's a different flower, but um, it's Char, I think is how you pronounce her name and I got two yeah Shar's crafty shop on Etsy right there and I'll link it in the description box that way you guys don't have to find it um, but I did want to show you guys these they're super cute and I actually have a, a decent idea for what I can use with these and I think they're a lot of fun but aren't they so cute? But I like, this has like, um, so I know a topic of conversation has always been, you know, copying this, copying that, this, that, and other, but this just goes to show you that two people can do the same type of thing and, you know, have two very different products because yes, they're both flowers. Yes, they're both small. But they're just, they're different. And I mean, I don't know. I just don't see a problem with it. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys those. They're super cute and I love them. But I'm going to put this with my business card folder thing. Um, let's see. I can put you... Yeah, we'll put you on this side, right there. And I'm just going to use a piece of tape. Because this isn't necessarily for, hey, let's be pretty. This is an informational um, thing. And it says, let's see, what has it said? Thank you very much for your purchase. Sorry. Oh, you're very welcome. Um, I doubt very seriously she watches my channel. I don't think she even knows I have a YouTube channel, which is kind of why I wanted to kind of get back into doing YouTube because I wanted to bring my Etsy and my YouTube together. And um, instead of having such a separated community for me, um, and this was a card that she made. Isn't that cute? I love that. And I like the size of it too. I like the size of it a lot. And I actually really like the stitching on here. She drew the stitching on with an ink pen or marker. But it looks so good. I like it so much. So I'm going to set this aside. And then grab my lace back. Because we're going to be playing with the lace probably. Um, oh, maybe not because I forgot I still had a couple bases left. So let's see what we can play with here. I really like that. So pretty. I think though I would want it to be only half of it like that because I want to see this part. So let's cut this. I'm just going to cut it straight across. No rhyme, no reason. I mean, I'm not going to cut my, my circles here, but so, how are you guys doing? I am doing very well. Um, ooh, I left my my bottle without its pen. I am such a bad girl. Oh no. Um, I don't know which one's the right side. I think that's the right side. Oh, look at that. Still works. Woo. So 
I didn't break it. So I'm doing well. Um, my leg is still sore. I mean, I did pull a muscle, but um, I am I am mobile. I am able to walk around just fine. Um, it is definitely, definitely getting better, which is great. Let's see, y'all. This is how you can't to put like a up there so it does, you can't, or so you don't cover up the hole. That'd be cute. And I like that one. Oh, I like that one a lot. I kind of like this bright pink one though. Uh oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. I am so glad I figured out that mute button. Excuse me. I think I like this better because it's a little bit darker. But I like that one better, definitely. So I'm filming at night, so um, my energy level is down. And my, uh, what's it called? Um, it's the chemical in your body that is like very calming and soothing and relaxing is way up. Um, which maybe I should start recording my videos at night. I don't know. Um, but I do have pretty bad allergies, um, like way early in the morning and right before I go to bed. During the day, I'm okay. It's, um, it's right around bedtime or wake up time that my allergies decide to go haywire. But that's okay. Because it has medicine that I can take. I just didn't take it. I didn't think about it. Um, cause I take, I take a mixture. Um, I go back and forth between Zyrtec and Claritin. So my body doesn't get used to either one of them. I'll take Claritin for a couple months and then I'll take Zyrtec for a couple months and yeah, I'll just keep going back and forth. And every once in a while, I'll have to take Benadryl, but not, not too bad. Mostly during the spring. Oh, the spring and the fall. The summer and the winter aren't bad. Depends on where I'm at, I guess. But I've noticed here that the summer and the winter aren't bad. That is really cool. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to stamp it again. Oh. Here, let me grab my stamp real quick and grab some, I need a, a darker ink. Oh, I guess hot pink will work. Not really. I still haven't put these. I put the flowers on the shop, but I didn't put them away. Like I have a, I have a whole room dedicated to my inventory for my shop and they're still sitting over here on my desk, which is probably a no-no because <laughs> I have orders for these flowers. I haven't filled any orders for this weekend. Uh, if, if there was an, I don't know who watches the channel and who doesn't as far as my customers on Etsy go, but if there was an order on Sunday or Monday, I have not filled the order. I will fill it Tuesday morning because the mail did not run Monday. <clears throat> oh my goodness gracious me. Might have to take one of those Benadryls. That wouldn't be too bad though because it's um, see, can't make it by me. Um, I have one for copyright too, but I only use those on things that like I um, like digitally create and then um, and then print out and I won't stamp the item itself I'll basically I'll put it inside of a folder and then I'll stamp the folder that way the item is nice and just pretty and whatever oh speaking of graphic design I have such news for you guys so my oldest daughter is 19 and she's still trying to figure out what she wants to do with her life, aren't we all? And 
So her birthday was actually today, which is why I'm recording at night because I, you know, we've spent the day with her. And um, anyway, she wanted something to kind of help her with graphic design. At first, she was telling me that she wanted just like an app or a program or something for her computer, but I use Photoshop on my computer, but I also use like four different apps on my iPad. So I have a lot of different programs that I use and I kind of flip back and forth between all of them because they all have their purpose, right? So we got her a tablet, we got her an iPad and a pen to go with it. And she has been playing with that all day long. It is, it's so rewarding for her to, you know, be able to do something that she really, really wants to do. So, um, I don't know if it's something that she wants, but if she does, then she, her work might be on my shop soon. Now it will be this, it will be differentiated between hers and mine based on the artist. I will list her as the artist. I'm not going to take credit for her work. I don't take credit for anyone else's work since she's not any different to me. So, <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. That's not going to be anytime soon, I don't think, unless she's just extraordinarily fast, which she very well could be. She's very artistic. Um, she has a very keen artistic eye. She draws and she writes. So who knows? <laughs> And I think maybe I should, oops, I think maybe I should, um, have a smaller stamp, you know, because these take up a lot of space. Oh, that wasn't bad at all. Look at that. Woohoo. Okay. Um, let me wipe that off real quick. Oh, or I could just throw my wipes right on top of my computer. So I have a shelf that's like over here down a little bit. And I don't know what it's for exactly. It's not a full shelf. It's only like that, that deep. And it's not a drawer or anything, but it's above a cabinet in my desk. And so that's where I keep my wipes but my tower for my computer is in that cabinet and I very often will knock the wipes on top of the tower, which is kind of funny to me. All right, so I think that is the price. And you can always do different colors. Let me put that away so I don't forget to draw. All right, these are the ones we did yesterday. Not that one. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot to do one, but that's okay. We'll just leave it for now. Those are the ones we did yesterday. And remember, we're, um, we're just making tags. So one, I have tags to put on the shop. But two, if you remember, we're making a book. So I would really like to have some tags to play with with that book. I need to make some journal cards too. So I'll probably bring you guys along for that ride as well. This is the lace that I recently got. Um, it is really pretty, although it's not, I didn't know it was stretchy. So I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm going to put it on the shop or not. Um, oddly enough, the stretchy lace, the stretchy laces actually do really well, but I don't know. I might, I might not, who knows, ooh, ooh. but I do know I have a ton of product that I need to get listed. But it'll come eventually. A little bit at a time. No rush. But some of them I don't have listed purposefully. Like this one here. I do not have this one listed because I'm in the middle of using it on projects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it on my projects and then 
measure out what's left and then put that on the shelf. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Come out, glue. Come out. Oh, it's coming out just a little bit, tiny bit at a time. That's okay. At least it's coming out. Yay. Good thing I don't have issues with my hands right now. Goodness gracious me, this glue does not want to come out. All right. No more than usual anyway. I mean, my left hand is weaker than my right, but I wouldn't call that an issue, really. I would just call it a fact of life for me. It is what it is. Boop. So it's funny, um, Lane's work. So a lot of you know that my husband's in the military. And where he's at right now, they had a, like you couldn't go out in public like it was a rule you were not allowed to be out in public you were not allowed to be seen out in public because you weren't allowed to be there um, so one of the things that they couldn't do was get a haircut because well it's out in public and um, I'm just looking for another lace real quick because I want to I want to add something to this. I'm just not entirely sure what. That's really pretty. I like that lace on top of the lace of the card. Anyway, so one of the things that they couldn't do is go get a haircut. Because, well, it's out in public. And not everybody has someone at home that can cut their hair for them. Like, Wayne happens to have someone at home. Like, I can cut his hair. Um, and I can do a military fade, but he was using that as an excuse, as well as many other people was using that as an excuse not to cut their hair. And so I was taking a haven to work one day and it was just the funniest thing because when you typically see a military member, you know instantly they're military based on their haircut uniform or what, whatever, it doesn't matter. You know they're military because they're haircut, right? Not with these guys because they had their uniform hat on and their hair was like all poofing out of the hat. It was the most funny thing I've ever seen in my life. I was like, are you kidding me right now? And, um, but anyway, the reason I was telling you guys because they finally lifted that and had, had put out a call for everyone to go get their hair cut. And it was just, it was really funny. And I bet a lot of people were very, very busy. Um, when Wayne went to go get his hair cut, um, and he said he was there for like two and a half, three hours, uh, because they don't let you inside until it's your turn. Like they're, very into the um, safety regulations, which is great. Um, but they don't let you inside until it's your turn. And um, oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. And so, yeah, like I said, he was there for two and a half, three hours. Kind of crazy. So this is a pre-made embellishment that I made. Like I said, I use all kinds, whether I make them or whether I get them from other shops that I'm supporting, doesn't matter. I get them all over the place. Like those flowers that we made, those are pre-made embellishments. I just happen to sell mine. I keep some too, obviously. And I kind of go back and forth between the Fabri-Tac and the hot glue, as you can see. <laughs> I guess it just depends on my mood and what I grab. I like that a lot. Oh, I love the pink. Let's grab one that's a little more purpley. 
because in the book we're doing a lot of um, like pink and purple mix and this is another one I do have this one on the shop this is an extra roll because I fell in love with the lace so I got more um, and that's that's what I do <laughs> Oh my gosh. And as you can tell, this is like, it, it is purple, but it does have like a pink undertone. It's just, I don't know. I guess maybe because it's so light, I don't know. But it is really pretty. I love this lace. This is one of my favorites. All right. So I think I'm going to cut it. Um, I think I'm just going to glue the lace. I think that'll be the easiest way to do this. Or not. <laughs> And what's funny is this bottle is not even that, like, it's pretty full. It just doesn't want to come to the bottle. Oh, also, I did get um, bottles in, so I will be decorating those as well. And those will be available on the shop shortly. That's just, it's another project that I have. You know, that ever long project list <laughs> that just keeps growing and growing and growing all right Lego I wanted to say Lego my ego but it wasn't my ego it was my finger it's still funny though. Alright. So I'll take this guy. Put it down there. There we go. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to cut this. Turn that up. Turn that up. Come here. Get off my scissors. Sorry, I have to clean these scissors. There's so much glue on them. It's crazy. Alright, so what are we going to put on you? Um, oh, this is pretty. This is another piece that I got from Eve. That's really pretty. I like that. Let's do that. Where are you? There we go. So she sent me a sample bag with all kinds of beautiful vintage laces. And the one that I happen to be playing with right now is Germany. Are there they're German rather um, and she sent me this a long time ago but I haven't been able to um, sit down and record so I've had this for I don't even know how long I've had it for a minute put it that way all right oh that is so pretty Oh, I like it. Okay. So we're going to put a dot there and a dot there. Okay. Ooh. 
Sydney is also feeling much better. She ate soup today, which was awesome. She actually asked for chicken noodle soup. It was really funny though, because Haven had given her chicken noodle soup the other day. And um, I figured, you know, she wanted chicken noodle soup. And as a kid, I always got the, you know, the Campbell's condensed chicken noodle soup. Um, and it was the ones with the stars because they were cute. And it just made you smile. And, you know, and that's pretty awesome when you don't feel good. So I had Dad go out and get her some of that. And he got the regular ones as well. And he's, and she comes. He comes back and she's just like, Dad, I wanted the ones with the big fat twisty noodles. And I was like, oh, that's, that's the, the Progresso. Cause that's what we normally buy is Progresso. Um, we buy Campbell's too, but it's like the big chunky ones. Um, oh, I like that so much. Oh, that is so cool. So anyway, she had eaten today, and then um, Haven wanted pasta. Normally, our we kind of have a tradition that on her birthday we go to Olive Garden because that she loves, loves, loves Olive Garden. And so for I want to say like the past ten years, we went to Olive Garden because that's you know her favorite. Well, we didn't want to go out um, because we don't really go out, and Plus, with Sid not feeling well, we decided to order in. And we have this really cool um, Italian restaurant here. It's called Carabas. And um, so we ordered from there. And so she had some mac and cheese. This is Sydney, not Haven. Haven had some dish I don't know how to pronounce. And that's the thing with their dishes is they're all, they're all in Italian. I have no idea what they are. I just pick three pasta dishes that looked good. Uh, grabbed a, a meat dish for Wayne. I think I ended up getting pork chops instead of steak. And I got eggplant parmesan for myself. Um, I actually just took all the cheese off of mine and then I ate it. <laughs> um, you could have eaten it otherwise, but like calorie wise, I could have eaten it otherwise. I just didn't want all that cheese. Yeah. So that's done. Actually, we ran out of tag. Let's make a couple little ones. Can I make a little one? These are smaller. Let me make a couple of those, I think. Oi. My back is very sore for some reason today. It's probably from sitting down all day, to be honest with you, because I've been sitting down all day long. This is actually pretty perfect. Look at that. That works out really nicely. There's the hole so it doesn't get covered up. All right, so I'll flip this over and glue it. <laughs> Okay. I think we're good now. Yeah, we're good. You just gotta shake it a little bit. You know, call it ease loss. That's a show that I haven't seen in a long time. Actually, I don't even remember it. I just remember it is a show. I think it's look, look who's the boss or who's the boss or something like that. It's a show from the 80s, I believe. I'm sure a bunch of people that grew up in the 80s will probably let you know what it is I'm talking about. Actually, the show in the 80s that I really liked, it wasn't even the 80s, it was the 90s, because I, I was a baby in the 80s, so I didn't really watch anything in the 80s. But the show that I really liked watching was Full House. Um, let's 
see what else did I like oh and the dinosaurs not to mama not to mama and she'd always beat him over the head or the baby would beat him over the head um let's see what else did I watch as a kid I didn't really watch a whole lot of TV because we were always out playing. And I think that's the difference in generations between my kids and me is, like, my mom would lock me out of the house. Like, not go out and play, come back at lunch. No, she'd literally throw us out of the house and would lock the door. <laughs> like, we weren't allowed back in the house until dinner. Like, so we didn't have a choice. We had to go out and play, right? Um... But I did watch TV. You know, I had sick days. I, ooh, days of our lives. Every single time I stayed home from school, I would watch that show with my mom. I remember that one. And that was one that I actually was, um, had watched a little bit of when I was an adult as well. I think the... Because it's a really thicker lace, I think I'm going to put like a thinner lace or something not so thick on top. Let's try. Let's see. That's thick. That's really big. Well, that's not so bad. Um, let's see. That's another one that's big. Um, let's see here. That one's cute. Let's, hold on, let me grab my bag. So, I have a couple. Oh, that one's perfect. It's so tiny. Oh, I love you. You're so cute. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry, I couldn't help. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that one's cute, too. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's the perfect size. Ah, let me see if I can find some more of that size. That is the perfect size right there. Um, I'm just digging through here. Here, let me, so you guys can see me digging. Doink. Oh, let me put my lid back on my glue so I don't forget. And then end up turning the camera off. And then, lo and behold, it's all gone and not in the thing anymore. All right, so that's the size that we want. Um, I can use that one, but it's a little too bright of a purple for the project that we're working on. Like, this one would be okay, but the ribbon is a little bright. Because the purple that we're using right now is really, really pale. All right. Oh, that's another one that's super tiny. And see what I mean? You just get all kinds of lovely, lovely things. And the next time I make an order from her, I will definitely do an Etsy share for you guys. Um, because they're just amazing. Oh, that one's cute. Oh, that one's small, too. It's small and narrow. That one's really... I like that one. Ooh. That one's probably too big. Yeah, that one's too big. Okay. So, we're down to this size here. Or this one, because it's narrow. And she's got quilted pieces as well. Well, they're all quilted. And you can use them for so many different projects. They're amazing. But all of these are just quilted pieces of yumminess. Mm, let's see. Oh, I bet that one would be really cute for like a Christmas. Because I want to do that. I want to do a, um, a Christmas journal. That one's cute. I bet that would be really cute for Christmas, too, actually. That's 
is actually showing up kind of orange. It's more of a brown color. Ooh, oh, 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 there's a tiny, ah, fake. Fake. Oh, I love these super tiny ones. They're so cute. I will eventually get to the bottom of this little bag. I don't think it's going to happen tonight, though. Yeah, I got a little crazy, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, oh, that's really cute. Huh. See, that one would go good on something like this because it's small. All right. Super tiny. Yeah, a lot of them that I got um, originally were fairly large. And I personally have a harder time using the larger ones. Um, mostly because I don't make journals that off, like that quickly. Ah, that's really pretty. I like that. I mean, it's not going to go with that, but... Okay, so the rest of these in here are also very large ones. So, I don't think we're going to be able to use one of these hearts because these hearts don't really match anything we're doing right now. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave those out but I'm going to put these other ones back in I hope I'm going to be able to get them all back in I'm not real sure how I managed this before but we got this okay um, I think that's what I had out these guys over here um Let's go ahead and keep the ones out that I know that we can use for the projects we're working on. And we'll put the rest in here. Right. Okay. And then these guys go right there. And I did it. <laughs> it looks silly because it's so full, but I did it. Oh, see, there's something else we could do. We could always play with some napkins. I don't think we're going to do that tonight, though. Well, it probably sounds funny for me to talk about night because this video is going to post at 8 o'clock in the morning. So that probably sounds a little funny. But what I do have is this. So, let's grab a couple pieces here. That one's probably too big for this tag. Actually, no, that one's too big for this tag. Let's make a little flower cluster to go with our tag. See? The pre-made stuff is great if you have stuff that matches what you're doing. But sometimes you don't. So you have to make it anyway. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use those. And make a little cluster real quick. I'm just going to I'm not going to get all of my doilies out. I'm just going to grab these and see what we can find here. Um, this one's kind of bigger. Like that. 
one's probably too big. Oh yeah, way too big. And let's do one more. There we go. Okay. And I don't have those little teeny tiny bits in the shop um, because I use them to make flowers mostly. Uh, but I do have doily bases. Someone was asking me about that the other day. I don't remember which video it was on, but. I remember seeing it as a comment on one of the videos. Okay. And oh, that is super cute. I like that. Like I said before, sometimes they come out super quick and then sometimes it takes a little bit longer. That's okay. Squish. Squish. My watch is moving. Oh, and this is, I don't know how many times I've mentioned, but my watch doesn't have any numbers on it. That's what I mean. There's no numbers. It's just it's a blank watch that I keep blinding you guys with. I'm sorry. Alright, there's one. Uh, I like that one better. I like that one better. Let's do that one. behind it, that would be fun. Oh, I'll go this way. Okay. Uh, let's see, what do we want to put on this one? I think I want to use the purple, but it might be too wide for this tag. Um, well, I mean, it'd be a nice background. I think it'll work. Okay. Boop. Oh, that's the wrong side. You know what I need to get is I need to get something to keep my bottle upside down. But then the pen would, would not be very effective because then the pen would just keep falling out. But... Because they make... Uh, not fiber tack, but they make um, tacky glue. They make like um, tacky glue that's upside down. And I like that. Actually, that's a glue I haven't used in a minute. Tacky glue. Something else that I wanted to try was the um, uh, art glitter glue um, because I really want to see, because I've never personally tried it. I've just been told that it's just like every other PVA glue, which I mean, 
if we're talking just all PVA glues, I mean Elmer's glue is PVA glue. So, oh, I need to scooch you up. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Okay. But anyway, so um, I've heard a lot of people say that it's just like every other PVA glue, and then I've heard other people like swear by it, and they're like, no, it's awesomeness. And so I really want to try some just so I can like know for myself. Because I have like thicker, like thicker than Packy glue, PVA glue. And it is amazing. I love that stuff. Um, it's just harder to get because I get it from the UK. But it is significantly cheaper than art glitter glue. Art glitter glue is very expensive compared to the other glue I use. Oh look, and there's little baby Jack's cute. Cute little baby, right? Sorry, I'm just being ridiculous. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so cute. Okay, we're so doing that. So doing that with this one. Okay, need my lace though. there. Oh. Let's put you on here. There we go. And then, oh yes, 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 yes. Sorry, I got excited because I just saw the little tiny tags and I was like, oh my gosh, they're adorable. I forgot I have them. I get all these tags from the same spot, um, which is Miss Caroline. And again, if I make another order, I will definitely um, do an Etsy share on those because they're super cute. And as you can see, I mean, the bases are really just amazing and you can do so much to them. You add a napkin to them, rice paper, like it doesn't matter. They're amazing. Okay, so I kind of want to add something else to this, I think. Um, let's see what else do we have over here. Ooh, that one's nice. Got the music there. I like that. Okay, so let's do that. I'm not gonna hot glue the tag. Let's take it. Let's take it. These are actually the tickets that are in the um, the autumn kit right now. Um, are these tickets here. Oh, which way did I have that? That way, I think. Yeah. Then, like that. So we're just going to glue this straight on to the lace with no glue on the lace itself. Great. Oh my gosh, it's been 50 minutes. See, I had intended on making a short video, but then I just get to talking and I forget about the time. Oh, that is so cute. I love that. Oh, I love that one. And I love this little bitty one. It is so cute. Okay, so we actually did a lot. 
And 50 minutes? We did a lot. Okay, so let me scooch this stuff out of the way. We might do some more tags tomorrow. We might do some cards. Um, I just need to make sure that we have enough ephemera for this book. So, wow, we, we really did do a lot. I think we did more today than we did yesterday. And I'm pretty sure the video might have been shorter today. I don't know. But anyway, don't mind this. It's messy. Okay. I have one of those left. So we've got these guys, which are so cute. The tiny baby. And then the mamas. We got the mamas. I love these tags. They're so cool. I think they turned out really, really, really cute. I really do like how they turned out. Okay, so that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for coming along and playing with me. I had a lot of fun. And I will be back again tomorrow. Oops, I just dropped the flower. Nope, I dropped a doily. A doily. Um, I will be back tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to be doing yet. I thought, um, we'll do something fun. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.